everyone, it's Jenna here and today I have a new layout to share for Bramble Fox. I am just about almost done with my December Fox box, but there are a couple of pieces that I had left over that I am going to use in this layout today, along with some of the stocking perspectives, which are a fairly new addition to the shop. I've also used a couple of stencils in this layout and um, some paper snips as well. So I'm actually scrap lifting myself today. When I started this layout, or when I started trying to make a layout, um, I came to a fair few sort of creative blocks um, and everything I tried just was not working. So I figured I would try and have a look through some of my old Christmas layouts and see if that sparks any inspiration. And there was this one layout that I made, it was um, sort of a red and pink sort of colour combo and it was a grid design and it was one of my favourite layouts. Um, so I have decided to scrap lift that today. So I'm using some slightly different colours um, for this layout, um, whereas my other one was sort of mostly reds and pinks, I decided to switch it up and use pink, purple and blue as my main colours. And I've taken a piece of patterned purple cardstock as my backing piece. And then on top of that, I've overlaid that with a piece of white cardstock, which me measures 11 inches squared. And I've added some black machine stitching just around the edge of that. You can see me now adhering these squares to the page as well. So these measure two by two inches. And again, I've added a black machine stitched border around each of those edges. So I've got my photo that I'm going to use today. Um, and this was one that was taken last year before a team meal. Um, and it's just me with a festive filter on. I think it's a reindeer or something like that. Um, but I thought it was quite cute. So I'm going to use that today. Um, and that measures four inches squared, that photo. So I'm using um, these little stocking pieces. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, I've got a couple of pink ones um, and a blue one. But in that pack, there's also some red ones that come with it as well. But I have chosen not to use those today. So I'm going to try and stick to a pink, purple, blue and green sort of colour theme today. So I am using stencil number 23 to make some leaf die cuts. This is possibly one of my favourite ever stencils from Bramble Fox. I seem to use this one more than most of the others because I just absolutely love it. Um, and I'm just going to use some Distress Oxide ink in the shade Bundled Sage as the base colour. And then I'm just going to add some um, detailing on to those leaves with the shade Lucky Clover. You might also be able to see some of the um, stenciled flowers to the top left hand side of my desk. Um, these were ones that I'd made previously um, for another layout but never got around to using. Um, so I've decided to include those today. You can see them on a couple of my squares. So I'm using um, quite a few <laughs> collections today. Um, I really am mixing things up, which is quite unlike me, but I did actually really enjoy um, sort of mi mixing and matching from different collections um, just to try and um, do a bit of tone on tone embellishing. So you can see on my desk, I've got some stickers from the Simple Stories Mix and a Mingle collection. And I've also got a few hip kits that I use today so I think it's the November 2021 kit I've pulled a few bits from um, and also maybe the November 2020 or 29 kit as well 2019 um, so I was actually really struggling to try and find um, some purple embellishments that I could bring in to allow me to do the tone on tone embellishing sort of in that middle row of things so I did end up pulling in a beautiful um, mandala chipboard sticker from a non-Christmas collection just to try and fill some of that space. 
So I am using a couple of different alpha sets for my title. And my title is going to be Festive Filters. Um, this is sort of the same area where I had my title in my original layout. So I am going to stick to that. Um, and I figured because there wasn't really too much space, um, I would use um, that big purple text and a slightly smaller blue text just to make sure that it fits in. So I have started adhering some of my embellishments to my background with a mix of double sided adhesive tape um, and some foam squares as well. And then for my perspectives, I also use some glossy accents just to make sure that they are appropriately secured in place. I pull out a couple of the chipboard pieces from the Mix and a Mingle collection to try and bring some of those in. Um, I've got a champagne bottle to the bottom right hand blue square um, and I do also have a play about with a few other bits but they don't actually end up working. I decide to use a star sticker and a chipboard sticker which has got home on and then a small little phrase which says celebrate. And then one of the last things that I do today is just finish off by adding in some sequins. Again, sort of continuing with that tone on tone theme that I'm going with. So I'm using some blue sequins on the bottom row, some purple sequins on the middle row, and then some pink sequins on the top row. And then off camera, I just adhere those with some glossy accents. So there we are, that is the final layout for today. I hope you have enjoyed seeing it come together and I hope that it can provide you with a little bit of inspiration as to how you might want to use your December Fox box or some of the other shop bits. But I hope you have enjoyed watching and if you do have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below or send me a message. And I hope to see you again in my next video.